Hello. Hello from Bryson City. It's me again. Going to do some more art today. Um, today we're doing dragons. I had a request for a Chinese dragon, but we're going to do a couple different dragons. Um, just because there's a lot of different dragons in the world. Um, well, not our world. Um, so if you're interested in dragons, um, of course... Uh, my first inspiration for dragons was uh, J.R.R. Tolkien's um, The Hobbit, uh, which you can um, watch on video now, um, or you can also read the book. Hey, what a great time to read the book. Uh, it would probably take you as long to, by the time we get out of quarantine, to actually read the book you know, thoroughly. Um, you could also do uh, the Lord of the Rings trilogy while you're in there, too. Um, there's some dragons in that as well. Um, there's also a couple different, um, you know, was it, uh, how to train a dragon. They have some fun dragons in that one. Nice, uh, nice cartoony ones. But of course, um, Chinese culture, Asian culture, there's a lot of different kinds of dragons. There's also, um, if you want to get real technical, um, you could say that, uh, alligators and some of our lizards we have around here are dragons too. So... Yeah, I'll leave that to your imagination. But um, so again today, I've got some markers. I've got some other stuff for us to work on with our paper. Um, you can do this with any medium. I mean, you want to get a huge sheet of paper and um, draw a really big dragon. That would be awesome. I'm going to show you some basic techniques, um, just some basic ideas. You know, how to draw their head, um, repetition of scales, stuff like that. So. Some just some easy tricks, I guess you could say. So anyway, let me switch the camera around and we'll get to it. Sharpie. <clears throat> and I'll say this in my video, and we'll see what happens. But you know, if Sharpie would send me a box of Sharpies. I would I would say sponsored by Sharpies. We'll see. <laughs> in the meantime, I'm gonna get my little one out here. some other stuff here in place ready to go all right so we're going to start off with a couple different dragon heads so um again basic shapes nose and let's go ahead and put an eye in remember yesterday we drew eyes dragon eyes can be different Top of the nostril, so that brow comes in like that, and then just draw, connect it back. A little bit of a lip, and then what I like to do is come through, back to the jawline. Let's say he's got a couple teeth that hang down, maybe one here, like that. Uh, need some horns. And he'd have one on this side too. And we're going to go around this way. And now, if you notice, I got a line here. That's going to be the beginning of the bottom of his neck. Like that. And then we're going to come in. So remember, dragons, snakes, there might be a lot in common there. So as the head cut next comes around this way. It's going to come around this way, and then here, we'll have a front paw. Come on around, like so. Now, for the Chinese dragon, what's going to be a little different is they typically don't have wings. Like if you've seen, um, you know, dragons have their wings here in this area on their back with the Chinese dragon they don't need wings to fly so we'll come around this way this is going to be the center of his back which will come around like that out on this side and let's put in the leg here
and we'll curl up the end of his tail right here. Okay. For the end of his tail on the Chinese dragon, they have, I don't know if it's fur, if it's fire, if it's scales, but it's just really cool. Um, and I think what it is is this this might be the what helps him fly. I don't know. You tell me. So, and then also going down the back of the dragon, he's going to have some scales or, you know, a mane. Notice here I switch sides because the direction changes. And as you get smaller to the tip of the tail, make your mark smaller. Foot from the other side. Heel from this side. There we go. Right. And then we're going to switch. I'm going to switch to this wedge tip on this Sharpie. And then all I'm going to do is just make a few dots. Now, use the flat tip like that. Just tap, 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 tap. Tap, tap, tap. And remember, as the dragon body turns, your tap should too. Come in and make that belly a little bit better right through there for everybody to see. Uh, we'll put a little bit of that mane up here. Coming off here. Let's put some rings, some growth rings, if you will, on his on his horns. And then also <clears throat> something I've seen that Chinese dragon a mustache. Or uh, whiskers, if you will. And they usually have their eyebrows are pretty up there too. There we go. Now, another thing, if you want to go this route, Chinese dragon, you need to have some cool clouds. If you ever watch Mario Brothers or play Mario Brothers, watch somebody play Mario Brothers, that's kind of what the clouds look like. Except, have a few of these. Like that. And one more here. Really simple, but pretty effective in making it look like he's flying up in the sky. Right. Didn't bring my markers with me out here today, so I'm not going to run back in. However, I do happen to have a gold pin in here, so we'll do a little we'll do a little gold on here on his. Now this is um, this pin that I'm using, in case anybody's wondering, is a gel pin. And the thing that's cool about gel pins, they will color over other pins and markers, even other inks. 
you can draw on um, a painting with these so they're pretty cool So yeah, if you have colored markers, like a big bag of colored markers, that would be really cool. Let's see what else I've got here. There's a little gold. <clears throat> Actually, markers keep showing up out here. I, I'm not quite sure how that happens. So now I have a red Sharpie. <laughs> so we'll come through with a little red here. Now when you color in with markers, one of the things I like to do is make a bunch of little marks like this because if you decide to go back over with a second color, the second color will then um, come through and it'll actually create more depth. Let's see here. quickly color this in. So as you notice, I'm going to switch the way my marks go on this side. So we're going the other way over here. I'll make his tail really red. Like that's the part that's still growing a little bit. You know what's really nice is when you ask online, you get markers. <laughs> Imagine how that happens. So thank you to my wife, Erin, for bringing these out here to me. <laughs> so as you can see, lots of different colors. These are pretty cool markers. Let's get a darker red. Let's get a pink. Let's get an orange. So first I'm going to go over it with the orange, and I'm going to put the orange down towards the bottom. go with the darker red up here towards his mane. Just... There we go. Just like that. I'll go ahead and get them blended in down here together. Last, the pink. And the 
the pink goes in just like that and there it is now we'll do the pink on his legs here kind of show you know um, good coloration but then on his feet like on his bottom here maybe the, this is where the color's been the scales have been rubbed or a little dirty whatever so we'll make his feet all of his feet orange back over here that can be orange there we go and then if you want to get real real grab you a couple blue markers a couple different blue ones and then you can go through and then this will be real fun. It'll take you a little while, but start here. And come in and just fill it in with these little curly cues. Not actually coloring in the background. But just fill it in. We'll put a couple big ones down here. There we go. <clears throat> I thought somebody says, Jennifer says golden toenails. Well, we can do that. So with the gel pen, check this out. There we go. Dragon with a manicure. Very nice. All right, some other things real quick that I want to show you. There we go. But some other things that I want to show you real quick when you're drawing wings. So a dragon wing, you look at your hand, a dragon wing is going to be kind of like that. So it comes up, there's going to be a, a spot here, it's going to come out. So there's going to be a, a thumb, and then a finger. And a finger and another finger and then the, just the webs in between can even put one more here but think of it as a hand so you got the thumb you got the fingers with the webs in between so And of course, the dragon, if it wasn't flying, it may have its wing folded up. So just a few lines, but showing it brought in. Also, um, different kinds of horns. You know, a dragon could have you could have horns that go up, like the one that we just did, like a bull. Or it could have horns that come down. Or it could have one of the same, like this guy right here. Put some teeth on him. There we go. Um, you could also have horns that, like a ram, curl around. There's a couple of really cool books out there that show dragons with different kinds of features and stuff based on the environment that they live in. You could also have extra horns. And maybe a horn on his nose too.
So dragons can have all different kinds of shapes and features. Just depends on what you want them to have. So a nice dragon. Um, let's see. The only nice dragon I ever saw was this guy. My dragons aren't mean, they're just, they're kind of serious. There we go. Yeah, maybe one here too. <laughs> I remember he had a little bit of, a little bit of hair or something. Yeah. You know, forget his ears. <laughs> it's a very bad version of Peach Dragon. <laughs> um, but yeah, it just depends on how you draw their eyes. So if you draw their eyes like this, you're going to get an angry dragon. If you draw their eyes a little bit more open. You know, you could get a nice dragon. And also their mouth. So. Alright. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Um, look forward to seeing your drawings. Uh, in the, post them in the comments below. And again, any suggestions. And otherwise, we will see you again tomorrow. Um, 1130. And we'll see, um, see what we get into. Have a great day. Stay safe, everybody.